That old morning paper hit the sidewalk I walked outside to pick it up I held it in my hand as I pulled the rubber band Went back inside and grabbed a cup There between the headlines and the classified ad Little story caught my eye Was a picture of an old man Hello Black Canyon, how you doing today? Today is May 30th, 2024 It's another beautiful day in Black Canyon City We are in Arizona North of Phoenix, nestled in the foothills between the Bradshaw and the New River Mountains. And we just love it here. Um, we are watching a lot of growth come. Uh, we're seeing just massive building down in Phoenix. And it's coming this way. And there's a few watchdogs we have. <clears throat> the one of them is Lori Martinez. She's keeping her finger on the pulse of growth. She sees it coming, and uh, so what you need to do if you want to see what's coming and, and the new uh, properties that have been purchased by people all around this area, uh, Anthem, New River, Black Canyon City, Cortis, go to uh, Facebook, go to the Black Canyon City Community and Real Estate. That is, oh, let me say that again. Black Canyon City Community and Real Estate Information Facebook page. Um, it's brought to you by Lori Martinez, and she keeps it updated. So, <clears throat> we have a weird set of circumstances in the United States happening. It's, it's not just Black Canyon City that's having major issues. Uh, our country's having major issues. We have a... Uh, a judicial system that seems to think that just because your feelings get hurt that you can accost and well try to put somebody in jail for it. Uh, people hate him for reasons they can't they can't even define the reason. You can ask them and, and they'll say well he lies. Well what did he lie about? And they, they can't define it. That, uh, you know what, he's orange? They don't like that. Uh, that's really not a good excuse of why you should hate a human. So, I, I don't know. Uh, everything Trump has done in his own personal world, um, he followed the rules. Um, his life is legit. Um, as a president, he uh, completed almost every task he said he was going to complete. And, um, and that all against it, there was a huge, angry, democratic mob that just hates him. Um, you see things on the mainstream media, you should probably take that with a grain of salt because they've, they've allowed their personal feelings in on the news and they're, they're just, <laughs> they're not really telling you the truth. Um, I think in life we should analyze and define. Uh, look, look at who got mad when Trump got in office. I mean, there was a lot of people screaming, well, I'm going to leave this country. Too bad they didn't. But we should figure out who got mad, and then we should really think about why they got mad at a man who simply wanted to make America great. I read a little thing that said, the reason he says make America great again is because he wants to put the black people back in chains. Honest to God, that's what this person said in a text. I don't know. I don't know many racists that... that um, <laughs> I don't believe Trump's one of them. Um, I think it's because they listen to others and they, they, they hear it, but they don't buckle down and do the research. They don't go to the places uh, that they need to look and find out. And we recently found out that the Mar-a-Lago was staged in such a manner had, and of course the left doesn't describe it this way, but if, if you knew anything about Trump before he got into office, you, you would know that he has a huge presence around him of 
Secret Service type people. He's got his own private Secret Service that protects him. So when, when Mar-a-Lago was raided by the United States Secret Service, they ran across a bunch of other people there that had guns too. Except they were like, well, wait a minute, what are you doing here? Are you you want to come in and have some coffee and talk? Sure, we'll let you in. Here's the key. Yeah. But had none of those people been there, and Trump had been there, it's believed now that there was an assassination attempt just in the Mar-a-Lago raid. Had Trump been in the right places and other peoples had not been there, they didn't know the attorneys were going to be there and all the other stuff. They had no idea. So when they popped in and they said, oh, we can't do what we planned on doing. Um, my whole point is this, is I believe Trump can save this country. And he's already said it and proved it. He's done a lot of things that, that have benefited us. Uh, we, are, we are in a, a time now that another person came in, wiped all of what he did away, and started to do it the old-fashioned way, just like Obama did it, and Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton, and those people did it. The administration that Bill Clinton uh, started was not far off from the Obama administration. The same people were in the groups. And so it, the, the Bill Clinton era was the staging of. And then once those people got in place, now they can start swinging their weight. And that's what they did. Uh, and by the time... Obama was getting ready to step out and Hillary Clinton was getting to step in, it was completely primed for Hillary. She could have done anything she wanted to. She had all the power in the world because they were already all placed. Well, come along Trump and what happens? Well, he messed everything up for them. Messed everything up for them. Not for us, but for them. Their monies are not what they used to be. So what do they start doing? Printing it. It's a sign of panic. Uh, people will believe what they want to believe. They really will. Um, I believe we're on a precipice, though, that we're looking down and at the tips of our toes and these little rocks are falling off down into a great chasm below. And it's only going to take one person to shove us off this cliff. Um, and by the same token, it's only going to take one person to pull us back away from this abyss. Um, I think our votes are what's going to count. I think everybody needs to vote. Personally. I don't care what they say about mail-in ballots being safe. No, they're not. Just vote personally. I think that would be the best best way. I, I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine why we need these mail-in votes when, uh, I mean, a country like France can count all their ballots in one day. They're saying the reason they can't, they need these mail-in votes because, well, you know, we just don't have time to count everything like that. We need to get a bunch of votes in to count first. So, we can... That just doesn't make any sense. It's not how this was set up to do. This is crazy. 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 Uh, you know what? I watched something recently in the Bronx where AOC is. Yes. Those people are standing up. They're standing up for their rights. They're looking around going, what in the heck? has the Democrat Party actually done for us? I think Trump shook that cage, like, well, what would they do for you? Let me know, because I think I can do more for you, when he was getting in and, and going into his rallies. And it appears that Biden has really solidified who the Democrats are and shown that they don't care about the black vote other than just to get it. As soon as you vote, they don't care. You're just that number, and that number goes into a box, 
and they'll contact you in a few years to get your vote again. All the while destroying the families of the black people, the Spanish, they're trying to destroy all family, the nuclear family, they're trying to get rid of all of it. There's a lot of people that say it's been gone for a while, but I don't think so. I, I think that's what they want you to believe. And once you swallow that, then you'll be more acceptance to their transgender ideals. So, that's my morning cup in the afternoon. Hope everybody enjoys it. We will talk to you soon. Have a great day.